Manav Gupta uses this clay river to depict how in one moment Indian people give absolute reverence to this age-old Indian prayer lamp and in the next discard them with no regard only to once again elevate the earth and clay come sunset and it's time to pray. He says this problem of only caring for the environment when it suits us is global. Therefore, Earth uh, is also uh, the river of clay that I've shown here with a, uh, with a complete drying up of the river here, uh, has got limited resources and we recognize it only when we are talking of using it. Manav says like the bricks gathering, his exhibition transcends national identity and speaks to the need to care for the Earth. We are dependent on Earth for its resources. And there is so much of harmony in the larger cosmic energies that man must learn from this cosmic energy to remove boundaries and grow and learn from the light and color that exists. India was one of the founding members of the BRIC grouping. I think the special feature for this summit is the Africa outreach program that um, South Africa has organized and we're very much looking forward to it. Ahmed Kathrada was born to Indian immigrant parents in South Africa. Even in his retirement, the former politician and Rivonia trialist remains interested in events. There is so much in common between the BRIC countries and, and South Africa. And I think that uh, mutual cooperation between South Africa and the other countries, both ways, will work to the advantage of all. Three years ago, South Africa marked and celebrated 150 years of the arrival of indentured Indians in this country. South African Indians have a direct lineage to India. The host city, Durban, is the largest Indian city outside of India.